Hi everyone, welcome back to Decoding Studio and here is the second chapter of TDD in React Native series where we are going to discuss about unit testing in JavaScript. In this video, we are going to test plain JavaScript objects and JavaScript functions. So let's get started. As we are going to use Jest in order to perform uh, unit testing in our JavaScript, so let's talk about what is Jest. Jest is a JavaScript test runner that is a JavaScript library for creating, running, and structuring tests. It's a very popular uh, JavaScript library in uh, uh, all the fr JS frameworks. So React JS and React Native uh, by default using this library uh, in their you know projects. So when you create a new uh, React JS and React Native project, then it will be automatically installed in your project. How do I know what to test? The typical way of uh, testing, import the function to test, give input to the function, define what to expect as output, check if the function produce the exact expected output or not. I have already created a React Native project and uh, as I have already discussed with you that uh, React Native by default using a Jest, so you can see Jest is installed uh, inside uh, a dependency and uh, inside scripts uh, uh, we have a, a test command so whenever we will run npm test then it will call jest and jest will start looking for a underscore underscore test folder inside a project directory and uh, whatever file we have written this inside this directory so uh, those files are eligible for testing for example uh, we can create new folder here underscore underscore tests underscore and inside that we'll create a new file smoke dot smoke test dot js so now this file is uh, eligible for uh, unit testing or uh, you can say testing and uh, let's say uh, let's uh, st or start start writing a first test case uh, smoke smoke testing to test like just is working or not so describe is your uh, first friend and uh, Inside describes you can uh, write multiple test uh, cases. So describe takes two arguments. So you can say smoke testing, and the second argument will be a callback function. Now inside uh, this you can uh, write uh, your multiple uh, test cases. So either you can use a test or you can use uh, it for that. But I'm going to use test. So again, uh, it takes two argument for this screen, uh, string uh, smoke test one, and second argument will be a callback function. Now inside callback function, you can uh, write uh, you can uh, uh, write your condition. So for that, we need to use expect, and it expecting uh, to test. Let's say true. Uh, later on, we will change. We will write. Uh, we will test a function. So uh, we'll pass. Uh, function here but uh, uh, for testing I'm going to add just a true and uh, to equal to true so now it's expecting a true and we're just passing true let's test it so it's passed our uh, uh, smoke test dot js you can see here and uh, so that's like our Jess is working let's create a more realistic example I have already uh, quickly created a name uh, formatter function and uh, it's a standalone function and uh, we are going to test this function it takes a name object uh, as an argu uh, argument and uh, return a string name string so let's write some uh, test case for this I'm going to create a new file named as a name matter test.js now start with describe then uh, name for matter uh, callback function then uh, mm, test string returns the format formatted name 
callback function and uh, uh, let us import our format name formatter function. So, now uh, our input will be a const um, name object that will be a prefix and uh, prefix will be a doctor uh, first name handy and last name will be a smurf smurf is my favorite cartoon character so i'm using here now uh, input will be expect name formatter and we are going to pass name object here so this will be our input and what oh sorry const input will be name formatter and will pass a name object to this and we are expecting output uh, something like this doctor handy sum of No, uh, we are expecting input. We'll pass in our input and to equal to our output. So, if this uh, test case will pass, then uh, like input uh, whatever we are passing and uh, uh, it is equal to this string, then it will return a true. It will pass our test cases. So, I'm going to fail our task test case first so I'm not going uh, I'm not passing uh, you know I'm not expecting uh, this thing so let's see what is the result so npm test uh, it should be fail okay so as you can see uh, it's fail and it's saying uh, name formatter returns the form uh, formatter returns the formatter name so this test case is fail and uh, expected was uh, uh, Dr. Handy, but it, it was returning uh, Dr. Handy Smurf because we are passing a last name as well. So let's say, uh, let's correct it and just pass Smurf here. And uh, run it again and you will see. As you can see, it's pass our uh, test case. So this is like uh, how we can perform uh, unit testing in our uh, code in React uh, JS, JS and uh, React Native code. So that's all about uh, unit testing. Uh, I have covered only basic things, but if you want uh, some more stuff, uh, some more advanced stuff, then I'll uh, make some other videos or I'll provide some link in description as well. And uh, yes, that's it for today. And uh, in next chapter, we'll cover uh, React Native component testing how we can uh, perform snapshot testing and how we can uh, test our component. So, okay, thank you, thank you for watching.